Hey everyone, welcome back to channel PG Analytics. In this video, we will understand how to show different chart type dynamically. So I'll explain the scenario first. I have already created the dashboard to explain the scenario. Now here we can see two different chart icon. First is bar, second is line. So when I click on the bar chart icon, it will show the data in bar chart. When I click on the line, it will populate the data in the line chart. Let's see how to implement this. Now the first step is to create a sheet where we have to show different chart type icon. So I have already added those shapes under repository. So that is the first step we have to do. Then we have to show those shapes in the sheet. So I'll create one calculation max of zero. I'll do it twice to create two different axes. And for each marks card, I will add the value for the first one is bar. Select the mark type to shape. We can see the default shape is coming. Put this bar on the shape. We'll do the same thing for the second measures. Give it a name line. This value also we have to put it on shape and Tableau will assign some default shape. So Tableau has assigned circle for both shape. Now I will change this manually. So I have added the shapes under folder arrows. For the bar, I will select this bar shape and for the line, I'll select the line. I'll just hide this axis header and increase the height. So we can see two different shape. If you want to add more shape, same step you have to do, add the measures and you will get another marks card where you can add another chart icon. Now I'll do some formatting just to hide this line. row divider none and column divider is none. Now we can see that it's coming clean. So this is the first sheet is created where we are getting different chart icon. Now we'll create two different sheet where we will show bar chart and line chart. So I will use category and sales and show this data in the bar chart. I'll give it a name bar chart. Similarly, we'll create the sheet. and show this data in the line chart. So in the bar chart, it will convert to entire view. And this is the line chart. Now here we have to use the concept of sheet swapping. So to swap the sheet, we have to use the parameter. So I'll create the parameter and give it a name, select chart. Having two values, bar and line. parameter is created and we have to use this parameter so that at a time we can see the data in one sheet only. So now I'll use this parameter, create a calculation, having this parameter name, 
when we are in the bar line chart, drag this calculation into the filters, go to custom value list and add the values line. So this condition will be true when we select the line in the parameter. If I select line, this sheet will populate the data. If we select any other value, then it will be blank because this condition is false. Same thing we have to apply in the bar chart. It will populate the data when we select the bar in the parameter. So we can see at a time it will populate the data either in the bar chart. Now the line chart sheet will be blank. If we select line, then the bar chart sheet will be blank. Line chart will populate the data. So we have to implement this sheet swapping concept. Now, once it is done, we'll come to the dashboard where we will add all these three sheets. So I'll just increase the width here. On top, we will show this chart icon sheet. In the bottom, I will add one vertical. We can do the swapping in the vertical container. Remember this point? So if I drag the bar chart, now I'll select the bar in the parameter. This sheet will populate the data. If I select line, this sheet is blank because it is blank in the sheet level. Now I'll drag the line chart on top of this dotted line. So we can see in the same container, either it will populate the bar chart or it will populate the line chart. Now same thing we have to connect with this icon. Right now it is working based on the parameter. Now we'll change the value of this parameter from this sheet. For that we have to use the param action, parameter action, add actions, change parameter. So when we have to change the action, the value of parameter from the sheet for where we are showing this chart icon. Target parameter is select chart value will be bar. So first parameter is applied. Same way we have to pass the line value. Okay. Now if I select the bar, you can see the value of parameter is changed to bar. And if it is bar, it will show the data in the bar chart. When I click on the line, the value of parameter is line and it will show the data in the line chart. So this is how we can implement and show the data different in the different chart type. This is just for two uh, chart icon. Similar, similarly, we can apply it for multiple charts. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much.